we're going to head over to the track function flow. It takes in the event name, the event user ID, and the event payload, and then passes it to either a built-in connector or a custom one that tracks events. You can see here that we gave template code. This is basically like a generic example of how to track events to your specific analytics endpoint. This is BotPress's built-in track event. However, of course, if you want to use Google Analytics or mix panel or segment, you would connect it to one of these three. So let's say we were to connect it to Google Analytics, then you would have to go to your installed integrations on the bottom left and ensure that Google Analytics or Mixpanel or Segment, depending on which one you're using, is installed and enabled. It's also imperative to note that each of these track event cards are different in terms of what exactly do they need as inputs. So for instance, if you were to click on BotPress's built-in track event card, all that is required is the name of the event. However, in the case of track event Google Analytics, you should see here that we have the event user ID, the event name, and optionally the event payload. 